The state is moving to fix a frustrating spot on I-25 in Albuquerque. The Department of Transportation plans to do away with an exit ramp to help with a very busy on-ramp. News 13's Madeline Schmidt is live at Lead and I-25 with a look at what could be coming. Madeline? And what Dean drivers seem to agree that at rush hour, like right now, it's very difficult to merge onto I-25 northbound from here. The merge space up there is quite short, but that could soon change as the MLK exit is eliminated. What do you think of the on-ramp right here? I was just thinking it gets kind of backed up really easily. This one? Yeah. Uh, it's really bad. Is it really bad? It's 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 way too short. Drivers' complaints aren't unfounded. Oh, needs improvement. Needs improvement. It, yes. Is it too short? Yes, too short, and it's just bald necked. The Department of Transportation has announced plans to revamp the ramps. There was a road audit done, and it was determined that it would increase safety if they went ahead and closed off the off ramp. The northbound I-25 MLK off ramp will soon be a thing of the past, meaning the on ramp from Lead Coal to 25 will be extended. It's hard to get on there. Yeah. Yeah, it's difficult. Is it long it's enough? Is it too short? Uh, too short. A lot of times when there's a lot of backup in the area, that's when you'll start to see people merging over or cutting others off, and we just want to kind of make sure that safety is our number one concern. The project is still in its early phases. A DOT spokesperson speculates that signage to exit for MLK would be added to the lead coal northbound exit, taking drivers through the frontage road. And that means the often congested stop sign just before MLK on the frontage road will likely go away. So hopefully that'll be a little bit more free flowing once this project is complete. A start date for the work wouldn't be until next year. Now on Wednesday the 12th, the DOT will hold a public meeting on the project at Longfellow Elementary. That's just west of here. That meeting begins at 6 in the evening. Dane, back to you. All right, Madeline, thank you. Now there's no price tag on this project just yet. The DOT would eventually like to redo the old interchanges on I-25 from lead and coal all the way down to Gibson.